Alright, let's see how quickly I can create an Excel dashboard for a financial institution to track their consumer complaints. So let's start by creating a pivot table from this data. So I'm going to do all my analysis here and then I'm going to pass my charts over to this dashboard tab. You'll see we're working with Bank Maven here. So let's start just by looking at the total number of complaints. Got that there. Let me copy this pivot table down here. And now let's see the ones that were resolved with a timely response. Let's copy this here, and I'm actually going to show this as a percentage. Whoops. All right, so 98% yes. And then here, let's see the company responses in each of these complaints. And I'm really just interested in in progress here just because I want to see how many complaints are still in progress of being resolved. So it looks like we've got the KPIs that we care about, number of complaints, complaints that were resolved on time, and the complaints that are in progress. Now let's copy this again. And maybe we want to see the number of complaints by product, which we have here. And maybe we want to see it by sub product as well. And let me just sort these by the count of complaints and maybe we just want the top 10. Looks like blank is in the top here and I don't want that to show so let me remove it. And you'll see that once I do that my value filter is removed so let me just go to pivot table options, totals and filters, allow multiple filters. Now let's go back and do top 10, enter, and you'll see that blank is no longer here. All right, now let's try to see if we can find trends over time. Can remove the product. Let's add the date received here. And I don't really like showing quarters, so let me remove that. I like years and I like being able to expand to the month within each year. And finally, let me copy this one last time. And looks like we've got state information, so let's pull that in. All right, so it looks like we've got our raw data prepped. We've got our KPIs, we've got some bar charts or pie charts we can create, a little line chart to show a trend, and maybe a map visual. Now let's add some filters here. So maybe I want to be able to filter by time. So let's add a timeline for the date received. And right now you'll notice it's only filtering this, but what I can do is go to Report Connections and actually select all my pivot tables. So now we're all being filtered. Let's make this years instead. All right, pretty cool. Now, since we're showing sub products, I wanna be able to filter these by product as well. So let me add one more slicer here for the product. And I want this to be able to filter all of them except for the product one itself. So let me just see which one that is. It looks like it's pivot table 22. And let's select all of them except pivot table 22. Press OK. Looks like we've got our filters working. All right, so let's bring these over here to our dashboard and let's start building the KPI cards. I can remove these. So let me just add some placeholders here. Let's add some text boxes and check this out. What I'm actually going to do is add another shape underneath and I'm going to make it equal to each one of the KPIs. So this is this one right here. Press enter. Now let's just copy this over. And now this is going to be equal to this right here. And let's just copy the formatting over. All right, that's looking better. Let's just check that these work. And it looks like they do, which is great. Now let's bring in the complaints by product. We can do a pivot table for that. I'm not actually a big fan of using pie charts, sorry, but let's just go for it. 
add one here. I want to show different visualization types. Bring this over here. Again, let's get rid of these field buttons. The outline and fill. This is going to be complaints by product. Now let's bring in the complaints by subproduct, and we can do a bar chart for this one, which was what I technically or typically, sorry, recommend. All right, again, field buttons, no outline. You'll see that it's in the opposite order, but we can fix that pretty easily if we go to categories in reverse order. Now let's do the trend here. We can do a line chart. I'm actually going to do a column chart to keep it simple. And now we just need the map. And if we actually go try to add one, you'll see that we can't from a pivot table. But let me show you how we can do it. Just add a blank one here. Right here. And if we go to chart design, select data. Let's remove this series, add a new one. And if we go to series values, we can select these right here. For the axis labels, we can select the states. Press OK. And there's our dashboard. Now let's just check that this works. It looks like everything is filtering properly, which is pretty cool. We can select maybe just 2020. That works really well. And then maybe we can go here and expand it to look at the trend by month. So that's a quick little dynamic dashboard build in Excel. Obviously there's still a lot of design work and formatting that you can do to make this a lot better. But as far as functionality, that's really all you need.